Alright, hello everyone, and welcome to episode 2 of Roller Coaster Tycoon. We have Dynamite Dunes for this episode, and the, the objective, as you can see down here, is to have at least 650 guests in your park at the end of October year 3, with a park rating of at least 600. And Dynamite Dunes, built in the middle of the desert, this theme park contains just one roller coaster, but has space for expansion. So let's jump into Dynamite Dunes. So, the first thing I want to do here with this desert theme is pause, because... We already have a ride open, and we're already started, but we need to figure out what we're doing from this left side to the right side. And uh, I think the first thing I notice is that I don't really see any workers walking around, so we should probably uh, take a look and see what's going on there. Um, hire a new staff member. Yeah, we, we only have, it looks like, one cleaning guy. And let's see what his footprints are. Do we not have footprints for him? I do not believe that we do. That's odd that there is no footprints for him. Um, we should probably uh, build that out. I'm trying to figure out where the exit is. I think the exit's over there, right? Okay, so we have all this area. We're going to have to split up workers. So we'll do that after we do pathing. So the first thing I see here right away is we have this nice area. Oh, so you can pause, but when you build, the game goes out of pause mode. I did not know that. So you have to be relatively quick with your decision making. Um, I kind of wanted to make a square, though. And I'm going to try and split this up into zones. You have the zone on the right and the zone on the left. And we're going to try to build up this area over here. Um, obviously, you have to kind of work around the slope. Maybe we'll put a nice roller coaster here. But we definitely have to get more rides going, so after I pause, let's go here and let's start off with just some rides. Got a nice crazy one over here. Uh, we'll start it, give a little bit of space with it, uh, entrance, exit. It's a twist, I believe it's called. And we will... Does it use blue? I guess... It doesn't really matter which one we do. I guess we'll just stick to blue. I don't mind the color of it either. I don't know if I should really change it. Maybe I'll give it like a deserty color. I'll give it like a brown and a tan. So probably... I remember watching a video that said don't touch the number of rotations and stuff. Just leave it as is. So, I think we can put the price up, though. I don't know how high. Um, that's probably something I should have looked up. I think the guy said you can go all the way to $5, and that's, like, what to start off as. I would like to try that and see how that goes, to be honest. But I need to make the line longer. I did not make this long enough. I'm going to pull that here. And push it all the way over there. That definitely looks long enough. Okay, let's green light it. See if, if people will ride it for $5. Looks like people will, so I guess as time goes on, we can lower the price. But since we need to make money, we'll start off with that. And I'll throw in this as well. Uh, I guess we'll put this right to the left of it. With the entrance there and exit there. Quickly do another dirt path from there to there. And another line. Same as the other one going around, but that time all the way over there. And I guess we'll also do desert colors on it. I like the white though. I think that looks good. So is there desert music? I need to know. We're going to start it at $5 as well. And how much do people have in their wallet? Does it tell me, too? $60. So $5 doesn't sound bad. Seems very fair, to be honest. Okay. Uh, price seems good. I guess we'll see what people say. If the price is too high, I can always lower it. But I remember someone on a video telling me $5 is definitely a good starting point. I 
They look like they want some roller coaster rides, to be honest, but at least I started off with some new ones there. Um, so here I wanted to do a path in the middle, and. Now we can start doing maximum funding on all of these. Although, I don't think I need transport rides. And this is a desert, right? I don't know if water rides would... I, I'll leave it in there anyway, I guess. Um, just no... I don't know if we need transport, because I'm not going to make it larger than this. This isn't like a huge park that I think needs it. Um, definitely need a bathroom, though. I'm surprised there wasn't one right away, but let's turn it. How do I turn it? Didn't I just turn it? I guess I have to have it close to this, maybe? There we go. Put a bathroom in there. Um. Ooh, someone already threw up. Alright, I gotta get my guys all set up before I continue here, obviously. So... Put that there and open that. And then we're gonna obviously open this on the other side. We'll just charge the normal prices for those. I don't think we should charge more than just the normal ones. This is a fruity ice stall. That'll probably do well in the desert, right? <laughs> Boom. So those are set. Get your drink, your ices. So let's pause. And we need to have a handyman. Good. I can pause and set this up right away now. So I'm going to set him up over here. And also drag him and drop him there. Pause again. We're going to set him just to clean up this area. Just this area. All the way to there. That's it. That's all he's responsible for. He shouldn't wander off too far. And we're going to hire another one now and put him over here. Quick pause again. Handyman 2, you will cover everything on this side of the... Area. All the way to the roller coaster. I can't see if that's blue. I think it's blue. But all the way down. Okay. I think that's perfect. So there you go. That covers that. Uh, definitely should put a mechanic in. I was told to not waste your money on security guards. So I'm not going to. Um, and I don't think I should hire more than one handyman for right now. I mean mechanic. I don't think I need two. But let's definitely put some benches in. I don't know why I can't get like a good zoom in. They all feel too far away, but that's okay. Alright, we'll do that, that, that. Garbage can, garbage can, garbage can, garbage can. Garbage can, garbage can. Garbage can on the exit. Sounds like a lot of people are getting sick. I think that's over here. Make sure they have seats. Put some garbage cans along the way so they have areas to throw their trash out. And we'll add some seating over here as well. Okay, that's good. Um, we should also put another bathroom over there. I did notice there's a lot of just a gap here of nothing. So we'll throw a bathroom right next to the ride. Just in case. And having two guys to clean up over there is obviously going to be a big deal. Especially when I expand. Uh, so we have 223 guests. What was the goal again, by the way? 650 by year 3 with a rating of 600. That's really easy. That's not bad at all. We still have space here for another ride. I'm probably gonna... 
let's do... Let's do a roller coaster. I'm gonna build one. So we have a mine. We'll do the wooden one. Alright, let's build our custom design. Okay, so I need a roller coaster probably on this side because there's classical Roman theming. There we go. Alright, so your entrance can and exit could be right here. Problem is I might need to level this land first. Let's do that actually. How do, oh, there we go. That's how you do that. Okay, so you need to. There, there we go. I forgot how to do it all in one, but I just remembered, so. It's gonna cost a lot, but it'll give me some ability there to put the roller coaster down without having issues. Now, I know you can put roller coasters underground, too, but it's like I don't remember even how to do that properly. I'm sure there's... You know what, I could probably do it right here and then pull out of it, but I guess we'll try, and hopefully I don't waste too much money trying. Uh, let's turn the camera. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna come back around at the end. Oh no, you know what, we want it on this side. That's okay though, I still have enough room to what is it? One, two, three, one, two, three on turns. That should be enough. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. This should be fine. Let's see. Oh. Never mind. That's why I didn't want to waste money. But it's all right. All right. Cool. So let's start off with a... Oh, they don't have boosters on these? They don't. They do not... I didn't know that. Okay. Well, we'll just start off going up then. Doesn't have to be a crazy roller coaster. I even read in a video, which I'm glad I watched, that, you know, as long as it's decently done and has a few exciting things, you're good to go. So I'm actually going to start with that. It'd be cool if you can go down. I don't know why. It's so hard to go down. I don't remember how to get, like, roller coasters under the ground. If I did, it'd probably be a lot easier. There's definitely a way to do it, I just don't remember. Okay, after that long up, you should be able to go down. Actually. Just up one. A little bit in up there, so you're not going too fast. And then we are going to turn around, drop again. And you're going to be right next to the people over there and you're gonna come up again and what should I do here how much money okay I don't have that much money left so I should probably just try to run it back here Yeesh. Let's get the, uh... Oh, I don't have enough room for the water splash. Ooh, okay. I'm I'm a little bit in trouble right now. I'm gonna figure out how to get out of this. Ooh, this is tough. Okay, I could do on ride photo section there and then turn it around and be done question is where do i put the water splash maybe maybe here here would be a good area for the water splash but will it mess up the ride i guess i'll find out oh there we go right there water splash 
Why does it work? There we go. Alright, let's see. Safest park in the county. Let's go. Alright, so... How do I test this now? Oh, entrance not built yet. Oops, how do I do that? Alright, we want the entrance as close to the front as possible. And then the exit also as an easy out. There you go. Alright, let's test this. See how it goes. I'm excited. I put a lot of effort into this coaster. Okay, it definitely has enough speed. Does it have enough to get up? It does. Awesome. Oh, that's good. I think that's perfect. Oh, that's good. Okay. Do I get a uh, rating, by the way? I guess it'll let me know the results. Nice long line, too. Okay, it's giving me a medium, right? 3.10. So it's very low, but I still think we'll get a lot of people to ride it. I don't think we'll have trouble with getting people on it. And over here, we'll put a nice, like, sit-down area or something, I guess. Basically, keep people moving on and off of it, though, so. Um, let's edit the colors. Is there music, by the way? Wild West. Is there, like, desert music? No, all right, then we're not gonna do it. I, if there was desert, I don't think this is like a Wild West park. It's just like a deserty park. But I like the colors of the ride. I actually want to change the train colors though. So I'll have one as red. That's fine. I want one as like purple, and we'll do run as one as like orange. I think that'd be really nice. I think it looks cool. Okay. So we're gonna charge, and we're actually gonna be light on the price. We're gonna do four dollars a ride. And two dollars for the uh, photo. I think that's fair. We're not going to do the same as it is for the other rides. And I actually want to see what people are thinking. How much is Dynamite Plaster, by the way? Alright. Free? Oh, that's a restroom. I was like, man, people aren't paying. Three dollars is fine. That can be the same price. I don't mind. This obviously has kind of a low excitement rating with intensity rating, but as long as it's between 3 and 5, I think you're pretty good. So, I'm happy with that. Like, you know, that's not bad. I have a brand new roller coaster in the park now, so... My hope is it will attract a lot of people. And I can make a lot of money off of it. Seems like it's a very quick with it. And we'll get more people on the ride, obviously, as we get more guests in the park. But, um... Still don't have the information kiosk. That's a big money maker. Um... It is a desert, so I kind of would like to make a log flume, but you need way more money to be able to do that, so I gotta make more money first. Jeez, they're expensive. Alright, how much would a custom design really be of a nice tiny one that goes over this side? Couldn't imagine it would be too much. Maybe I should actually put it over here. I don't like how the land does that. That will be easier to put other stuff there. And just expand on this side. Okay, we'll expand on this side instead. That's fine. Not a big deal. Uh, I guess we'll... Just 
start it there like this, and then have it go up. And that way, and just have it go kind of like around. Nice long ride. I like it. I think I did a good job. I love the ending too. I, I made it really long, and I'm actually going to go back to make it more cart friendly, for sure. Yeah, and we'll make the station right there. Information kiosk. Finally got the information kiosk. Good. Okay, entrance. We will put over here so it can be pulled down to the exit. So I can keep building this way if I need to. And we're going to put... Beautiful. And I can keep building that way if I need to, but in the meantime, we're going to paint it deserty themed. I like that. That's fine. Different colors per car. Yeah, why not? I'm just going to do it really quick. I didn't know there were this many cars, jeez. Alright, we'll just do... Vehicle 1 will be blue. Vehicle 2 will be purple. Vehicle 3 will be... whatever. <laughs> I didn't know you could change the entrances, too. I guess I could do that, but eh. I don't think I need to. We are also going to charge $5, like it said in the video, because we are trying to make money here so that we can do other stuff if we need to. And boom, it's open. This is long enough where you can have this many cars, too, for sure. Even though it looks bad now, it won't when it gets going. Is there excitement rating on this? Oh, it doesn't say yet. Okay, it will, though. I guess there's only one type of vehicle, too, so it stays that same color. Ooh, I should have tested this first. Is it going to not overlap? I don't want customers to get stuck on the ride. I guess I'll find out soon enough. Ooh, it looks like it's too many. It is. Okay, I'm going to quickly... People are going to get mad, but I might as well do it now. Uh, how many cars does it have? Alright, we are gonna turn that into 20 cars. No, you know what? We're gonna be safe. We're gonna do 18. 18 cars. Okay. It definitely will not overlap now. I know that for a fact. And I don't want people waiting too long. Like I said, I want them in and out, so... Shouldn't be a problem now. 18 cars should be fine. Sorry people had to leave, but whatever. Let's see what people are thinking. I'm running out of cash. Only four people, not bad. Need an ATM. <laughs> Alright, uh, I think that's a thing in this game too, if I'm not mistaken. So we want the information kiosk as early as possible for people to access. And we also want to make a dirt path all around it so people cannot miss it. 
Um, we are gonna charge... Uh, let's get a dollar per thing there. A dollar per each. I don't know if you can do five dollars on these as well, but we'll do same price throughout park. Make the information kiosk a nice brown. And we'll open it. Hopefully the prices aren't too high on it. I'm pretty sure they're fair. Also put some benches here so people can sit. I don't think we need garbage cans here, but I'll, I'll add some anyway. Is there a way that it shows people's thoughts? Oh yeah, it does, right there, I just saw that. Eh, they're just saying it was great, okay. I didn't name it, by the way, either. I usually name these, right? So we'll name this one, uh, this is... Call it... The Desert Storm. I don't know. The Desert... Dipper. I don't know. The Desert Dipper, I guess. That's fine. I, I need to come up with better roller coaster names. All of my names I come up with are absolutely horrendous, but. I probably should have made the merry go round line longer. But then again, I, I kind of want them moving around too, you know? I'm surprised the roller coaster is having such trouble filling up, but I pr probably should set it to move quicker to not wait on people. So, where is the setting for that? Maximum wait time is going to be set to 20 seconds. No minimum wait time. The maximum wait time is 20 seconds. Actually, no, we'll do, we'll do 10 seconds. 10 seconds maximum waiting time. So if they don't fill up in 10 seconds, it's gone. I think that's a good idea. The park is really clean and tidy. It looks like I did a good job with that. I'm going to actually hire the second handyman now, and I don't have to really put footpaths, but I want to make sure things are being taken care of. Um, let's check the routes on our guys here. Okay, he covers this area all the way over there. Which is fine. Maybe I'll hire another one to add for the area down there because I'm running out of room. I have a little bit of. Uh, you know what? I don't because I put the roller coaster there. Ah, uh, but I kind of. I don't want them string. I mean, I guess I should just build stuff here now because. I mean, I don't want them straying off the path that's already been made. I feel like that's not ideal. But I do need to add another ride there running out of room. So we'll probably add a pirate ship. That'll do well. And we'll put it. Definitely should flatten that land so I can have the entrance and exit work out well. I think right there is fine though. Entrance, exit. Where is the land tool? Right there. Okay, we need to. This is flat. And that's flat as well. Okay, so we actually should be okay. I shouldn't have to touch anything. Shouldn't have to touch nothing. Alright. I should have went down from there. Yeah. Let's now do the dirt path. I 
That's tough. I should have went down from there. There we go, that's much better. Beautiful. Look at that. All right, now I just got to uh, do it again from this side. Oof. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, I had to do I had to do a little bit of maintenance there, but all right, let's set it to five dollars like we did the other stuff. Just to make that moolah, which I am doing really well money-wise, so. Uh, let's open that up. And it looks good. The line probably could have been a bit longer. I think I'll see if I can extend that a little bit. There we go. Made it a tiny bit longer so there's more room for people to get on. I should probably make sure that there is seating. I should also make sure my sweeping guy has that path covered. He does. Okay, so we're good there. Wow, the pirate ship's already full. I guess people really wanted to go on that ride. I'm shocked the roller coaster has kind of not gotten the amount of traction I thought it would. I wonder why people aren't. Maybe the excitement rating's too low, or maybe the. It's like everyone says it was great, but I just maybe it's not for everyone. I don't know. The haunted house is now available too. Wow. I know it's a quick roller coaster ride, but it doesn't seem like a lot of people are choosing to go on it. It's is it making money? Jeez, $7,900 per hour. Holy heck, that makes a lot of money. Okay, well, clearly it's doing very well. Okay, people are clearly not... What's going on here? I'm not paying that much. All right, we're going to drop this price down to $450. Is that the same thought here? Yes, so we're gonna drop this down to 450. Are they still thinking that? All right, I'll come and check back on that. But I think last time I checked, they're both still making money, right? Yeah, not that much, but a lot of people are skipping on it. Yeah, it's still too high. What if I drop it to four on both? Still too much? Have I run into finally the issue with charging $5 for things? <laughs> it was a good strategy in the beginning. I really did get a lot of money out of people. Can't be upset with that. But with no one going on it, we kind of have a problem now. So I'm going to drop it down. I'll drop both of these down to $3. Oh, that one has people going on for 4 So maybe 4 is okay there. But I got to drop the price of the merry-go-round. Makes sense. It's not really an exciting ride, so... We'll check back on that in a bit and see if the line is full. People have no problem paying for this one. $233 an hour. Not too bad. How's the excitement rating on it? Eh, it's got a medium excitement rating. It's under 3, but... That's, that's pretty good for a ride that's definitely not exciting. This has low excitement rating, and this one has low as well. That's probably why they're, yeah, I have to charge less on them. If I had to guess. Okay, so things are going really well. I got 480 guests. Remember, our goal is 650 with a 600 rating. And once I get to 650, I really can just fast forward. I don't have to really sit through this. 
Um, trying to think what to do though. It's nice to see this starting to finally get some people in line, but I, it's still shocking that there's not more people on. Let's. I like the price. I don't think the price is the problem. We almost have enough to build another roller coaster, but let's see how that's doing actually, money wise. Thousand dollars per hour. Clearly doing just fine. You know what? I'm probably gonna add another one on the other side because why not? They're just money makers. So, there you go. People who come to that side and miss out on it can come back and buy it from there. So. Let's see, is it already making money? Yep. Easy. Easiest way to make money. How's that doing? 49 an hour, not too bad. Oh no, I'm sorry, 4,200 an hour. Clearly that's doing very well. This one is just amazing. All right, people are starting to go back on the merry-go-round. I wouldn't say it's still doing very well. Let's see what people are thinking. I want to go on something more thrilling. Unfortunately, it looks like the merry-go-round has just not been a very popular ride. These people want excitement. I wouldn't say the haunted house is very exciting. It's probably at least something I can add. All right, there is a path that goes under here, so I can probably throw the haunted house close by. Maybe I'll put it closer to this side. Like right there. I don't want the entrance there. I want it there. And... What happened? Why is it doing that to me? That's odd. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're good now. Watch me charge five dollars for the uh... <laughs> How do... Oh, I can't see. Okay, let's try and turn the camera. Oh, am I already connected? Oh, I'm not. Okay. What do I have to do here? Lower that land. That's all I have to do. Wow. That was pretty easy. Okay, so now we put it up to... Let's be careful here. I'm doing really well financially. I'm going to make it $4. We're going to open it. It is open. And let's make sure our guys have the pathing. He does not. We're going to add that. Good. I still think they should be cover, be able to cover that area really no problem. see any vandalism either so I guess I really didn't need security I do want to add one more roller coaster I think that'll probably push me towards the 650 that I need starting to get some more riders on the merry-go-round at least though This really simple roller coaster was a great, great idea. I've been making all my money on that. And I actually almost have enough pretty much to go start making another one, so. How's this doing money-wise? Is this still doing well? 192 an hour running cost, 5,000 an hour income. I'd say I'm doing very well on that as well. So probably gonna add one more roller coaster to this area since I have all this space and that'll probably be enough to get me to 650 really easily. Uh, the mini roller coaster would probably be a fun idea. Let's do something different. I'm gonna pull people all the way down here, hopefully put multiple rides, but you know, obviously focus on these. Make 
sure I can hold enough people. And what can I do here? So they have block breaks, breaks, S Ben right and left, and a helix. That is what these have. So we're gonna have to. Two there and then let's let's do something fun here let's go down two, do an s bend left uh, oh how do I do the helix again is it that that's how you do the helix right oh, I guess not I don't Oh, helix is it's not that I was thinking of something else so a small drop there. Can I do an S bend right? I can't. What if I go there and then do it? S bend left. I have to do two S bends left. Oh, I can't. Huh. All right. Let's do something fun with it then. Let's turn it. Can't even do that. Wow. I guess I. I can't see. Jeez. So, that was a mistake. Let's keep it the same height. Oh, I didn't want to do that, though. Let's drop it down one. Much better. Now I can do my S-Bend right. Oh, S-Bend left, I mean. S-Bend right. Oh, I guess I can't. We'll just do two S-Bend left. Nice. Oh, this is going to be cool. Okay. Let's be very careful here, but I want to do that with oh okay i guess i have to do it like that we'll do a small turn in and then that ooh that would have been cool but i can't do it so what i probably can do instead which is also kind of neat though is go flat Then that again. There you go. Oh, that's so cool. Oh. Okay, it went too far. That's good enough, I think. <laughs> Wrong way. Making a lot of mistakes here, but that's okay. Wait, what? Okay. You know what I'd like to do? Go up and then come back down one more time. Did I go high enough? I don't think I did. Probably not going to make it, but I just want to see. Okay. Go back down. I don't want to do it all at once because the ride's going to be crazy. But I think that's too much. I think I, think I just did... I, I, I like the idea I had, but... I think it's too much. I think I'm going to kill the people on it. But I, I still could do something creative here. I could do like a bend with a spin like this. That's, that's perfectly fine. One more. Perfect. That's still pretty cool. It's it's definitely long enough. Hopefully it's exciting enough. I wanted to make this one really exciting. I wanted it to kind of blow the pants off the guests. We'll find out, obviously, in due time. Uh, let's get the footpath. 
Let's do one like this. Nice and long. Right near the exit. Oh, no. That was a mistake. And there we are. We're going to start this one at five for sure. But I just, I got to test it, obviously, before I uh, open it, unfortunately. I think I can pause and test it, right? I guess not. Okay. <laughs> We're going to name this Oasis. It's the name of the coaster, just Oasis. Oh, cool. It's got different carts. I didn't even realize that. Well, let's see what happens. So this is really light over here. It's not going to go too fast. But this is where it picks up some speed for sure. See, in the beginning, it's a light, comfy ride. But then it really picks up. I'm guessing it'll be like a 3.5 in excitement. I guess we'll see. It should tell me, right? Ten cars is the max. All right, we're gonna make it blue since it's Oasis. And we're gonna make the cars a different color blue. Probably add some. Mm. It needs some brown in there or something. There we go. Oh, it's a low excitement rating. That is not good. Okay, so we need to close the ride. Oh, man, that's unfortunate. So, for the first time ever, I've made a boring ride. I didn't even think that was possible, but. Here we are. I know what I have to do though. I, I do I do have a really good idea of immediately how to make this way cooler. So I just start back here. We are going to delete all the way back here. And what I'm gonna do is keep it going up. This time I'm gonna turn it this way though. And continue to have it going up. Oh, I guess I can't. I guess I have to go it up from here. We're going to go up from there. That's plus eight. I think that's enough. Okay, we're going to start going down right there. What is this at? That's at plus seven, apparently. Apparently that's plus seven in height, really? We gotta go up higher than that. We gotta keep going up. Let's go up to 12. Okay. I don't think we need two of those. Okay, now we're gonna go this way. And start going down. Maybe I had to go farther. I can't really tell. That's the hard part. Of okay, I see the space now.
Oh, I'm so close. This has to be one, I think, one more. Then the turn. Then we go down. Huh. I thought I made it one more. Did I not? Am I stupid? Oh, there we go. We're at six. Okay. S Ben left. There we go. All right. Let's test it now. I'm expecting this to be way more exciting and faster. And you know what? I'll actually speed it up, too, so we're not sitting through this whole thing. Okay, let's see. Now I want to do normal speed. There we go. So it comes down there much quicker. That is so much faster. Oh, yeah. I'd be shocked if this isn't way more exciting. If it's not more exciting, that sucks, because this is so much faster. I don't know what I would have to do. Let's see what the test results say if I speed up. Apparently it's low excitement rating, really? I'm trying to think what else I can do. I don't want to just open it, you know what I mean, if it's lousy. Um... If I drop it down really fast, maybe? That's the only thing I could think is if it drops down like really quickly. And I just get rid of this. All the way from here. Just boom. You know what I mean? And I just... Like, I can still build out from that to make sure it gets to this point. But we are just going to drop straight freaking down. You tell me that's not good enough? Like, that is pretty... Intense. Let's let's try it now. I think I just fixed the problem. There's no way that's not way more intense. It's gotta be way more intense. Okay, it gets to this part, and now it drops like a log. <laughs> There's no way this isn't way- oh wow. Yeah, that is fast. That's much better. I don't know if it's gonna be fast enough, but... It does maintain that speed, so... I guess we'll see. I really hope this is at least just medium. Like I said, a 3 to 5 is what I'm looking for in excitement. Let's see. Ah, there we go. It's high intensity, but it is medium excitement. So a three to five. It's a little high on the intensity rating, but I think we can open it now. I think the Oasis is good to go. All right, everyone come to the Oasis. I like the cactus over here too. Cacti. We... We are in year two, I noticed, by the way, as well. I'm probably definitely an hour into this episode. If you're still watching, you're a real one. Thank you so much. And I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, we're going to throw another bathroom just for safety. Can never have too many bathrooms, as they say. Um, because of the intensity rating, I am probably going to have my own cleaning guy just on this side. Yeah, so we're going to have him cover a little bit more just to help out the other two because there's going to be a lot more people in the park. So we're going to have him handle this whole side, basically, which is fine, you know? We'll make sure Handyman 2 doesn't have to come over here as much anymore. 
Uh, we'll have him help out there, though. Uh, we'll have Handyman 1. You don't have to come over here anymore as much. There we go. So they're all covering their own areas. Trying to keep it as clean as possible. This has no one on it. Oh, it's because it's raining, though. Gotta hope the rain stops so I keep making money. I think I'm doing pretty well, though. I'm glad the intensity rating went up. The excitement level's not really like where you want it, but the 4.1 is still, 4, I mean 4.8 one's still pretty good. The nausea rating's only medium too, so it's not too, too bad, but we'll see what, see what they're thinking. Yeah, it's great. Good rating so far on it, which is always nice to see. I just realized to get on it's on the other side though, that is kind of annoying, but whatever. It is what it is. I'm not going to touch it. I'm enjoying the success that I've had. I'm almost at 500 guests, too, so that's good. Do I have a slide? I do not. Let's add one. They're really easy to fit, too, so... Oh, I just realized there's no room for an entrance because I messed up. That's okay. I'll, I'll make room for an entrance. We're going to shorten the entrance on that. To that right, we're gonna add that's fine for the slide as long as I just add another ride we'll make the slide three dollars Boom. just another ride in the park The slide is quick too, so the line won't ever be too much. So far, already making money. How is the food and stuff stands doing? 228 an hour, 194 an hour. They're all making money, which is fine and good. That's all really that matters. They cover the cost of the bathrooms. How's the kiosk? 744 an hour. Not bad. How much is this? 480 an hour. They're these are money makers, man. Almost a thousand dollars an hour on a kiosk. These are all making really good money. How's this doing? Three thousand an hour. Definitely dropped. Look at the line for this. Holy heck! So I didn't want the entrance on this side, even though it should have been, because I want to add another ride. I know the line here is really long, though. I wish I could make it go faster, but you really can't. It's not too, too bad, though. It's moving. We're up to 530 guests. I believe it was 650, right? Let's see. 650 guests by the end of year three. We'll have that really easily, really soon. Um, so one more ride I think would do it. I, I think I'm out of different rides though. I'd probably have to do the same one. There's a new roller coaster. But I don't really know if I should. I guess I could build one more. And that would probably push it to where it needs to be. So maybe I should. I have the money. I mean, my money's coming in real nice. And they had a fry shop on the wall. Put it right there, maybe. There you go. Make the price two dollars. Yeah. 
if anyone buys from it. There we go. Got our first two customers. I just thought on the way it'd be something for someone to grab. A little bit different than what's over there. Make the merry go around 250 just to make sure people are going on it. Also, gonna drop this to 350 just to make sure people continue to go on them. The car ride one queue is definitely long. There's not much I could do about that, though, honestly. I definitely made the ride a little too long, I think, but... I don't think if it, I don't think the, the length of the ride really changes anything. It's just how fast people get on and off that really matters. Alright, so I have... Probably room. Oh, I really don't have room for one more coaster. I do on this side. Just getting the entrance over there is going to be difficult. So what I'm probably going to do to make it possible is cross this out and put them together like that. There we go. And I can build a really small coaster over here to finish this. It's going to be a long episode. I almost want to check like what time I'm at for this. Let's see, one, oh my god, I'm over an hour. So sorry if my screen popped up there with <laughs> anything else, but I wanted to see, it's gonna be an hour long episode? Cool, all right, well, let's finish it. Let's uh, finish up to year two by adding a suspended swinging coaster. I didn't realize this would be so long, but I like my money's pouring in, so it's so easy to put in one more ride and get up to 650. Um, Let's make sure we started at the highest elevation, which is pretty much six all the way around here. So we should be good at six. Although I want to raise it up. Let's raise it up regardless to set, uh, raise it up to seven just to be safe. Right, we can do one more. Oh, that's not station platform. There we go. Very nice. All the way to the edge. All right, one more. All right, let's get exciting. I want to go. I want to go back and forth here. So oh, I love it. It's so cool. Immediate heavy drop into a backup. Back down into a normal kind of drop here. We're gonna spin it back around. It's gonna go back up one or two. And then boom, hit you with another one. And you're gonna come back up again. Where am I at? Plus eight. So we're gonna let this kind of pull out now and... Oh wow, I'm out of cash? Man, I was almost at the end of the ride too. I was just gonna make one more simple coaster. All right, let's speed up time so I can make enough money. Did I miss it? 
I did. Did I miss it again? Damn. There we go. I think that's it. I think we're on the same level? I can't tell. No, I missed it again. Huh. How do I keep missing it? There we go, I got it. Jeez. I don't know why that was so difficult. Alright, I just gotta build the entrance and exit here now. This is how I should have had the other path, by the way, everyone. I'm actually going to do this very specially done here. There we go. Not perfect, but whatever. It's fine. It does the job. think it's good? Yep. Okay, let's try it out. Let's test it. I gotta come up with a name, too. Cool. That looks pretty intense, man. It's short, but it's sweet. I wonder if I can get a medium rating with that. Ooh, it's got a high excitement rating, high intensity, and high nausea. I wonder if that's too high. I guess we'll see. We'll see if people ride it or not, I guess, but I'm gonna have to have a cleaning guy ready on that as well. We'll name it. Name it Wild. Uh, I don't even care. I'm gonna name it Starvation. <laughs> Something intense and scary. I like the red, too. I want everything to be red on this one. Red and brown for the desert theme. This is gonna be brown. There we go. Nice and weird. Alright, let's we'll see if anyone actually wants to go on it, I guess. Oh, it doesn't have a, uh, oops. There we go. Oh, no. Those people just fell, I just realized. Hopefully I didn't kill them. There we go. I gotta try and pick those people up if I can. Where did they go? Where did the people go? Oh my goodness, I lost them. They're gone forever. Oh, there's one. I see him. There you go. Someone puked already. Where's Handyman 1? Where's his path? Okay, he does cover this path, so... I should be okay. That being said... Definitely need some benches and garbage cans over here. They wanted high intensity, they got it. Why can I not drop these benches on the path? Well, I guess it just doesn't let me, okay. We'll add some garbage cans, too.
Looks like people are riding it, so I guess they do like intensity. So we only need uh, about 58 more guests and we're done. I thought that the you know, new roller coaster would certainly bring some people in, so. How much money do people normally have? Okay. People with 50 you can go on 10 rides. That does seem kind of reasonable, so. I do notice a lack of people going on, so I'm going to drop that price all the way to 350 and see if people are more willing to jump on it. Look at how many people are on for this ride. Holy heck. People love these intense rides. What was this one? Oh, that's very high intensity rating. I didn't even realize people were... I guess they like that here. Doing really well. We're up to 600 guests, so now I only need uh, 45. No, 44 more guests. So pull in another ride or two, and I think I'm done. Don't have a Ferris wheel. I guess I'll just add that. Definitely have room over here for it. Make it two dollars for the Paris one. Nice and cheap. Let's try and keep that desert theme. Just another ride for people to go on, a little bit out of the way, but you know it is what it is. I don't expect it to do that well, but it looks like people are going to go on it, so that's good. Not a too too long of a line either. The line on this is obviously really long. I wish there was a way to speed it up, but there really isn't. I already made the track, and I didn't want to change it too much. Maybe I'll shorten the line. This might piss a few people off, but you're not going to be waiting as long if there's a shorter line, so we'll do that. Hate to do that, but it's probably the smartest move I can make there, honestly. No joke, so. Why is this ride struggling so much? And that, that'll probably be the, oh no, I'm almost at 650 guests as is. See, I would add something else, but I think I'm already set. I think people are happy with the rides here. This ride is doing really well, my goodness. How much does it make? 7,000 an hour. Oof. Alright, so since we hit it though, let's fast forward. We'll probably get to the end here. Yeah, we're at 670. We have done it. I'll zoom out. You guys can see the park I created. Started at nothing, added all these cool rides. Safest park in the country. Cool, I got an award. <laughs> Disgusting state of my park. Really? Because it looks pretty clean to me.
Just to keep people happy, since I'm making a lot of money, I'm just gonna drop another uh, cleanup guy that can go anywhere, just to try to help out a little bit. And he'll just free roam, that's fine. So let me just make sure I have the goal down, right? 650 guests with a rank of 600. And the rank is 905, so I'm pretty sure we're good. Oh, wow, the Ferris wheel is crowded, guys. Look over here. Holy heck. It's just full to capacity. It looks like these rides aren't making money anymore, so... I'm gonna drop the price down 250 for that. Make the merry-go-round two dollars. Hopefully, people start going back on them. Why are people not? All right, I'll drop it down again. Make that a dollar fifty. There we go, and the lines are filling up again. People are still not paying that much, huh? We'll make it a dollar, I guess. Hey, and it's filled up again. Okay, good. Even if we don't make mo that much money on it, that's okay. Just need people to go on it. Yeah, now we're actually making money off of it. Probably should have slowed down time to do that, but we're doing so well, I don't think I have to, really. How much are the fries making? Huh. Four sixty an hour. That's not bad. Haunted House is actually losing me money, and Car Ride is as well. Looks like no one's going on it anymore, so I'll have to drop the price. Looks like people are going on it now for four bucks, so that's good. What about Haunted House? That's four as well. We'll drop Haunted House down to three dollars. And people are going on now, so clearly that's much better. Starting to make money again. Look how much money I have, jeez. Okay, we're gonna drop this price down to 450 as well, just to keep people going. Let's see how the rides are doing. Profit. Pirate ship's not making money. Where's pirate ship? All right, we'll drop. Oh yeah, it's too high. We'll drop that down to 350. Now it'll make money. Start off at five to make some money, and then you just drop it down. Seems like a good good uh, method, someone told me. So We're almost at the end here, guys. Thank you guys again so much for uh, watching this series, if you are. I know, I know some of these episodes are going to be really long, and that's why I'm glad I can space these out and do them in sections and parts. But, you know, I'm putting together these long videos, and I hope, hope you guys enjoy them with me, watching me build parks together, you know, and... It'd be cool if you guys have any sort of ideas for me that I could do in the series. Let me know, and I'll try them out in future videos, but... Starvation. What a name for a ride. Awesome. And this one's not doing as well, so let's drop it to $3. And see by the, by the lines if, if rides are profitable or not. I'm actually going to make the Ferris wheel $1.52, just to make sure people are willing to go on it. What are we at? 7.20 guests? Good. This ride seems to be doing really well, yeah, 4,000 an hour. This one's 4,000 an hour as well, even though it looks like it's dropping. We're almost at October though, we're almost at the end, so yeah, closing it out here. It was Dynamite Dunes. I kept, oh my, I called it Desert Dunes, I think, for the longest time. 
But it's actually Dynamite Dune, so it did kind of have a little bit of a Western theme. I thought it was a desert theme. Oh well. <sighs> September, and here comes October. Alright, let's save. Just do a quick save. I know you can do park promotions too, but for some reason I just decided not to do it. I should have. That would have been really smart. I gotta remember to do that next time to do these marketing campaigns because they lower prices for people and you get more guests. Easy way to get a lot of guests at the end here. As you can see, it's just spiraling up to like 800. But yeah, park ratings in the eight high 800s. The guests are in the 800s now. Make the haunted house two dollars. Make sure people. There we go. Built in the middle of the desert. That's why I thought it was desert theme. This theme park contains just one roller coaster, but a space for expansion. We did it. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna. Be... I don't know why I didn't do this last time, but yeah, Dino Mike. All right, I'm gonna save and thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode of Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic.